Okay, g'day everyone. We're in Adobe Lightroom today and I'm going to show you how to um, create a shallow depth of field in a photograph by using masking. So the first one thing you'll do, we'll do is we'll go into Open Lightroom, go into Library. Now there'll be an Import button here. Select your Import put button and then navigate to where your file that you want it is located that you want to import. Mine's in here, shall I dip the field? There's the folder that it's in and your mine's already been imported so yours should have a tick and then select the photo you want and then click the import button here. Okay, um, now it'll take you to this screen here. You want to then go and develop this image. So over here you'll notice you have um, some options Let's just select this masking adjustment brush and click on it. And much like Photoshop, the right and left bracket keys will adjust the size of it. Um, and then, first of all, what we want to do is, before we do anything else, let's go into the sharpness and make sure that's turned all the way down to 100. And the clarity, make sure that's all the way down to 100 as well. And then basically, we're just going to paint around the edges, um, the figure here, um, maybe down to where his sleeve goes and across there to um, create um, the blurred background or shallow depth of field effect that you often see in photographs. So I'm going to click and hold and start painting over here. Now, good thing to do is press O on the keyboard and O will show you where, a bit clearer where you're actually painting, where, um, where your mask is. Okay, so... I'm going to go quite quickly here, just for the sake of speed in this video. And look, when you get closer to the subject, you might want to make your brush a bit smaller so you can kind of get a little bit closer to the edge as well. You could also zoom in with Command Plus and pan around to get right in there. But I'm not going to try to get mine perfect because I could be here for a long time doing that. So, But you get the idea, and just make sure that this side here of the subject matches up where you're putting the mask matches up with this side. And then um, you haven't missed any spots. You can always check what you're doing by pressing O on the keyboard. And there's your shallow depth of field. Um, I mean, at least one, this needs a lot of tidying up and a bit more detail, but you get the idea. Now, um, with... You can also, with the mask selected, you can also just, um, if you think that it's too blurry, you could go into the clarity here and you could, you know, lessen that. Um, but I think that's pretty good. And also you could do the same with the sharpness as well to kind of lessen the effect that the blur has. Now, if you wanted more blur, you could copy this straight over the top. So if you select the this circle here with the hand and right click it, duplicate it. All right, it's going to put another mask on top and then it's going to give it even more blurred effect. But that, in this image, looks way too crazy. So I'm just going to undo that and go back to that. Okay. All right. Thank you. Bye.